Little bits of movement there, but I think it might be just uh, legal enough for everything to roll. And tell us, Vicky, in that first few hundred meters, what's going on in your mind when you're standing there with 45 or 50 of the best people in the world? Maybe We're also going to be keeping an eagle eye on the orange cap of Henry Schumann. We're really expecting to see something from him where we come out, run up, run up onto the sand round, round the tree or cone, whatever it is, in whatever race you're doing. And now, and this being just that touch shorter, he'll bring all the speed that he's got from short course racing, but he's got the endurance to last over this distance. How close can those spectators get right there? Fantastic, that's Henry Schumann trying to get out of his speed suit. Aaron Royal just behind him, the two-time Olympic champion, Alistair Brownlee in red. Sam Laidlaw right there as well, and then you can just see Ben Canute and... Yeah, well, what we just noticed there with Henry Schumann, he took his bike to run out and realized he hadn't taken all of his scrim skin off. He'd only taken it down to his waist, so he had to go back, re-rack his bike, take his swim skin off completely. So that's so that's cost him. He would have been first well, out of transition. Aaron Royal now first out in transition and instead. And now he's coming out still in touch with this group. Uh, that's part of not racing for 363 I think days, it could however. Be. And also not being super used to actually taking off a swim skin. Uh, Knowing he's got some very, very very strong bike riders. There's Lionel Sanders right there, and he is riding his way through this field. He's well over two minutes down, so he is not making time right now. He's not. Nope. I mean, that just shows how well Sam and Alistair are riding out there, and the two of them have started to blow that group of six apart. Kyle Smith, 19 seconds back, Royal, 22, and uh, Ben Canute and uh, Henry Schumann, another 30, you know, 32, 34 seconds I back. Mean, so. Take a look at Kyle right now. And uh, this man, pretty straight across, outstanding. I mean, I was so impressed with his swim. You so know, that's good stuff with Christian right behind him as he takes a little bit of a look back. So that means that they have got themselves into fourth and fifth position. Only a minute 32 down for Gustav Eden and a minute 34 down for Christian Blumenfeld. So they've, they've carved out another 15 seconds or so. And, and I think very quickly we're going to find out whether or not Ali Brownlee's got those run legs to make this magic today or whether this is going to be a long, long slug for, you know, 18 kilometers. And it's going to be interesting to see how he takes it out here. Is he going to go full throttle? We know that that's the way that Ali Brownlee loves to race. Or is he going to say, okay, I know I don't have the run fitness that I would like to have. Oh, uh, look at Brown here. Brownlee. He, was gone. he, he rode dismounted. over that line. He dismounted over the line. Oh, so I did. think he's hoping that by returning there, That's, he won't get a penalty. Ooh, that is a what? very rookie mistake. Ooh. I mean, you could see him riding right over. And it was interesting. He wasn't very aggressive coming in. He was just riding through. Oh, oh Kyle, that is Carl Smith that had a little bit of a tumble. It's not Another. the way you're going to want to start a 18-kilometer uh, run. Right there, as we can watch these two men who had about a 90-second lead, and there are going to be some brilliant runners coming up from behind them very shortly. Wow. I think he's putting his set, his marker oh, out look there. Look at him now. Oh, look, he's oh. in absolute pain. Look he, at him. Oh, this is awful. He's going to, I think you're going to see a bit of those uh, carbohydrates coming out of him here shortly. That is, oh. Oh, oh God. So, no, this is not good. He, he's in all sorts of trouble. The Norwegian train goes by, and they are now in second and third as Ali Brownlee in fourth, just starting to move, but he's going to have to find a way to get rid of that indigestion, or I think yeah. he's going to be in trouble. Um, on the flip side of that, we've got Gustav Eden, who, yes, he did win 70.3 Worlds in September of last year, and he has had some other good results with that championship win quite recently, but he's also had a few disappointing results. Married late this oh. Year. oh my gosh, what have we got here? Oh, We've got clocks. a cramp. That's got to be a cramp for Christian oh. Blumenfeld. Look at that. This is a game of, we saw carnage yesterday, and right now, this is, this we is, did not predict. No, we did no. not sure if that's a cramp. The way he was actually holding down on the quad, that makes me think he's pulled something. Pulled. I, I, we, we were just talking about him before we got those those shots of of, of Christian Blumenfeld, and he's someone who, as we mentioned, is getting married, of course, to non stand Oh, oh now we've got Sam Ledlow with the no, same problem. Another cramp. It's cloud cover, so it's, it's humid very, very, today. Exactly, it's very, very yeah. humid. So they are racing in a lot hotter and more humid conditions than the women were yesterday. My <laughs> teammate has the same scientific background is not letting him come back either. Now, what are we going to see here, guys? Because we, we, we know, we've heard it from Christian Blumenfeld. He's not going to leave it to the last 100 metres. He, he says he doesn't have a sprint in he here. He doesn't have a they are on the <laughs> They're on the uh, bridge at the exact same time. And that is Sanders on the other side. So all three, three of, of these our really guys, big names yeah, there. literally, yeah. they all see each other. Sanders going after Funk right there onto the course. Stop Eden from Norway, part of the 
Norwegian train as he has absolutely raced to perfection. He looks over his shoulder, and I think for the first time, he's going to realize that he's going to have this thing, the victory, the Canadian Open. He's now starting to show some appreciation to the crowd. It's onto the blue carpet as Gustav Eden from Norway, the man who has dominated this mid-distance, is going to win the Canadian Open. Solid swim, brilliant bike, and the day's most important factor, he got his job done on the run. Eden from Norway will win here in Canada. Well, he'll look up here in a few seconds and know that Christian Blumenfeld, here he comes. Greatest 12 months in triathlon history, and he's still sprinting to the finishing line. He that doesn't know any other way. Grabs the watch time at the finishing line. Christian Blumenfeld, boy, that is a gutsy race. Let's watch these two men. This will mean the world to him. That's awesome. Here he comes. He's going to take the third position on the podium. Nobody would have mentioned his name before the day started. It has been a big weekend for Australia as Aaron Royal crosses the line in third place here at the PTO Canadian Open.